guys it's maestro with you again for another video today we're covering jackal and um it's a really exciting episode actually uh, i'm gonna give you instead of ratings this time i'm gonna give you some straight up gameplay and my opinions on him overall okay so let's start off with his weapons right he has the c7 e assault rifle it's a great assault rifle i think it's one of my favorites in the game it's great with a silencer I many of you might disagree and i like running it with a hollow sight everyone loves playing it with the acog but i just can't get around it on console it is completely up to preference though the pdw9 submachine gun it's great but i don't see why you'd run it if you already have the c7e i mean it's a great assault rifle you wouldn't really need to run the submachine gun but it's nonetheless a great weapon and the ITA-12L shotgun, it's the same as mirrors. And if you are used to it, it's great, but it does take some getting used to. For secondaries, the ITA-12S, so the smaller version, it's got great stopping power from close range, but if you aren't close range, don't use it. The USP-40, the handgun, it's a standard pistol. It's really good, but it's, you know, nothing special three breech charges or two smoke grenades and his unique gadget is the inox it's tracking eyewear that locates targets by revealing and identifying recent footsteps his gadget is really useful and um, especially with lion's nerf uh, you might want to take jackal now instead of lion lion's now no longer a must pick on ranked and so now we have jackal who is a great operator for revealing positions of the enemy jackal is an attacking operator from spain Part of the GEO organization. Basically Jackal is a hunter and effectively is an anti-Roma attacker. It can see footprints of any defender using the Inox. Uh, he's also able to scan these footprints to track a target revealing their location in almost real time. This presence is very dangerous for defenders that rely on ambushing attackers from hiding. So Romas. Um, with the Inox, Jackal can see and scan footprints, right? And where the footprints hosts will then be pinged, like by a drone or CCTV, with a unique ping symbol. Five pings, right? So the first ping will come immediately, four more will come after within 20 seconds in five second intervals, right? Jackal and his current prey will then see the timer for when the next ping will be and how many are left over. Scanning footprints takes around 3 seconds and can only scan footprints within 3 meters. This feature also requires Jackal to concentrate on a single set of footprints. If Jackal looks to another set of footprints, even if they belong to the same defender, the hunt will restart. Right? So the Inox cannot be turned on or off while holding a hostage, just so you know that. I have tried and it doesn't work. So the footprints are color coded depending on how recent they are. Trackable footprints start off red at zero seconds, they become yellow at 20 seconds, light green at 45, light blue at 65 until they disappear at 90 seconds. The footprints will only be made if the defender was standing or crouching when they were moving. They obviously can't be made when the defender is crawling. Um, due to the nature of the uh, Inox being disrupted by mute, attackers like Thatcher and Twitch can be helpful in removing signal disruptors. Going on to his counters, mute signal disruptors will interfere heavily with the Inox, causing a heavy static effect that Jackal cannot see anything while either the Inox and the signal. Um, preventing him from scanning footprints too. So he is... <laughs> You don't want to have the Inox art and then stand by a jammer. It is the most eye-raping thing you'll ever see. It's the same effect as if you had to be jammed by um, the Mute's jammer as a drone. You'd see that on your screen and yeah, turning it off would be your best option. Kavera has special interactions with Jackal, right? While her footsteps are normally visible by Jackal, she'll not create such footprints while using her silent step. If Jackal's able to scan any footprints she does leave behind, Kaveri is capable of preventing herself from being pinged. This is possible because when she is using Silent Step, the Ironox will not ping her location. However, she is still tracked and will be pinged if she isn't using her Silent Step. Uh, fun fact, the footprints that Jackal can see for defenders differ. Though not every defender has their own unique footprint, for example, Dark Mute and Valkyrie, I think, have boot pattern footprints while operators such as bandit have sneaker pattern footprints it won't really matter if you end up scanning them anyway because you'll know 
who they are. Jackal is an amazing operator. He's really fun to play and you should really consider getting him. I believe Jackal is worth the 25,000 renown and if you have the season pass and you've just recently got the game, I think Jackal's maybe even the first person you should pick. His learning curve is close to zero. He's not much of a learning curve and he's not countered that easily. I mean, all his counters are pretty understandable. The rest of the video is just going to be straight up gameplay, uh, maybe to persuade you to get Jackal. And that's all from me for today, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll check you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>
Oh, oh.